Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create the ultimate USB drive for your Tesla. We'll show you how to partition it, show you how to extract audio from CDs and include all the proper metadata, and I'll also show you some of the cool things you can do with a formatted drive, including a light show. Alright, here I have my 128 gigabyte SSD. Inside an enclosure I got at Micro Center. Let's go ahead and plug this into the laptop. Now we're going to hit the start menu and type disk. Uh, you should have create and format hard disk partitions show up. You can also access this by doing a Windows R and hitting disk mgmt.msc. There's our disk right there. Right click and go new simple volume and hit next. Uh, the partition size, I'm going to make 68 gigabytes. Now on Tesla's website, they do say the requirements for Sentry mode video recordings is that the drive must be greater than 64 gigabytes. Trust me, you want to make it bigger than 64, otherwise you get errors on the car in the notifications menu. So we're going to make it 68 gigabytes. I will assign a drive letter just to make things easy on Windows. Uh, hit XFAT for the partition file system, and the volume that label will call Tesla Drive. It needs to be that exactly as I've typed it there. We're going to perform a quick format, hit finish, and we have our first partition. The next one that we'll want to create is the Tesla Media Partition for all your music. So we'll go ahead again, new simple volume, hit next. We're going to fill almost the entire remaining space of the drive, but leave 100 megabytes for the light show partition, which we'll create after this one. So we'll do 46370. Again, we'll assign it to drive letter, file system XFAT. The volume label here doesn't matter as much as the first one did but I'm just gonna call mine Tesla Media and we'll perform a quick format again. Hit finish. Finally, we'll create the light show partition. Now, if you've never seen that, stay tuned at the end, we'll show you what that looks like. New simple volume, hit next, 100 megabytes, drive letter G. We'll file system, this time we'll choose FAT32 and give it a volume label exactly as I type, light show form a quick format and click finish. That's all there is to it for creating the partitions. Next very important step is creating the folders for each one of these features. We'll start with the Tesla drive. So here we need to create a new folder called Tesla cam. Again, type in everything exactly as I'm typing it. Um, same case and everything. And then we'll create a folder called Tesla Track Mode. Now, for my Model Y, it's not a performance variant, so this folder isn't really going to do anything. But for those of you that have a performance uh, Model Y or 3 or a Model S or X, uh, this is something you'll want to do. So that's that partition. Now let's go to the Tesla Media. And in this one, you want to create a folder called Boombox and a folder called Music. And then finally, our light show. In here, we'll create a folder called light show. I actually have one on my desktop. I'm just gonna cut that and paste it. And that contains a custom light show. This half, this one I got online. Uh, this is actually Sandstorm by Darude. I'm sure many of you have ripped CDs before, but the method I'm going to show you today is one that will ensure that you get the highest quality rip from the CD. In essence, bit perfect equivalent to the digital bits that are on the CD. Now normally when I would be at home, I would use Exact Audio Copy, which I have installed on my computer at home, but Windows Media Player will do the job as well. The important thing you need to remember is you need to go to File, Options, Rip Music, and choose uh, the format of FLAC. It's a free, lossless audio compression format. It's uh, open source, and it allows you to compress audio files using an algorithm that, upon decompression, will restore the perfect file as if it were just a plain old WAV file. It's not quite as small as an MP3 would be, but it's a nice compromise between audio quality and file size. So we'll go ahead and hit FLAC lossless, hit apply, and click OK. I'll take my Foreigner CD and put it in the drive. Now 
All right, it's getting the file information. And now I'm going to rip this CD. All right, the music's been copied to our computer and we could stop here, copy it to the drive, plug it into the car and we'd be done. But I told you we're creating the ultimate USB drive. And if we stopped here, you'll notice we won't have that album art reflected in the car. You'll just get a nice little gray box and who wants that? Now to start, we'll want to go in here and right click on the albums that you just ripped and click Find Album Info in Windows Media Player. Now about half the time, you're able to get the album info and the album art will show up along with it. But in this case, it doesn't look like the album art is available for this particular CD. I'm gonna find the album art online. This one looks right. I'm gonna save the image. It doesn't really matter what you name it, but most of the time album art is named folder.jpg, so I'm just gonna name it that. Now, if Windows Media Player did manage to find the metadata online, what that'll look like is this. And you see there are some hidden files here. Now, in order to see these for the next step, you're gonna have to go into the control panel, open up the File Explorer options, go to view and then click on show hidden files folders and drives and also uncheck hide protected system files because otherwise you won't be able to see that metadata that windows media player downloaded the next step is going to be to open the mp3 tag software that you downloaded we'll choose the file that had the folder that has those music files that we just ripped and that's right there now, here's the important part. Just having the folder.jpg in the folder isn't good enough for the car to pick up that album art. We need to actually embed that image into the files, the FLAC files. So in order to do that, we're gonna select them. You see there's no album art that shows up. We're gonna right click there, go add cover, and then select the image that we downloaded and hit save. Now, I got this issue when I tried doing this step on my drive. I also, I think I'm getting this issue now because I didn't run as administrator. You also have to make sure that Windows Media Player is closed, otherwise they're gonna fight. But there we go. Now the files have the album art embedded into it and they will show up in the Tesla when we go to plug it in. Now that we made our SSD, we plugged it in by going into the glove box. USB port is right there and it's sitting right there. We can see that currently the sentry mode is recording and tap that and we will save the recording. So now you'll be able to see what is going on around us and all the cameras. Also, if you go to the USB drive that now shows up here when you plug it in, there is all of your music. So artists, albums, genres and folders. Uh, and then also you can see there's our album art. So pull it up and it shows up down there. Finally, let's check out the toy box. That's where some of those other folders like Boombox and Light Show will come in handy. So there's toy box. Right now I have Mars mode on. Let's scroll over to Boombox. So I have a wave here and an MP3 and they both seem to work. I found a clown whore online and even the Roadrunner from Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Finally, let's go to the light show. And the light show, you can see when you hit schedule show, custom USB light show shows up. If you don't have the SSD or if you haven't loaded a light show, then you'll get Odd Leg Zion and Carol the Bells, but there's the custom one. You can schedule it now, hit confirm, exit the vehicle, and. We'll show you what Sandstorm looks like on the light show as we close out the video.